What is going on you guys? I want to talk to you today a little bit about the resistance and first order conversion kits and we're kind of asking the question, do you really need these? And uh, you know, and I think the answers are going to differ depending on who you are and uh, you know, what your play style is and uh, what your budget is. So we're going to kind of talk about both of these a little bit. You know, we kind of got a little preview on uh, what's coming with the resistance in the first order at Gen Con. And so it's it's kind of exciting. Uh, I, I'm all for more factions in this game. It, it gives them the ability to, you know, give each faction a slightly different identity, give them a different feel without bleeding over into the existing factions as much. And, you know, it, and I think it's, it's also kind of exciting because having more factions in the game opens them up to the Clone Wars, which they're doing also, and that's also really exciting. But it also opens them up to, you know, just having a more diversified meta. And now there'll be seven factions in this game eventually. And so now when you go to play, you have no idea. Not only do you have to worry about what kind of ships you're going to face, you have to worry about which faction entirely you're going to face. And it also begs the question, is every faction going to get a TIE Fighter at some point? Because so far, there's a lot of factions that have, the majority of the factions have a TIE Fighter. Uh, so I don't think we'll see TIE Fighters in the Clone Wars, but I think the Resistance could kind of use one. I bet you we'll see the Resistance steal a TIE Fighter at some point. That being said, uh, before I get too much further, I do want to remind everybody there is still time. Uh, we're going to be announcing a winner very, very soon for my X-Wing 2.0 core set giveaway. So if you would like to enter to win that, there is still time. All you have to do is become a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my other videos. This will be in the next day or two. We're going to have uh, a winner announced for that as well. So... Uh, but don't feel, if you don't win that one, there's new giveaways starting all the time. Uh, so that much is exciting. And I will probably be starting another Patreon giveaway tomorrow as well. So stay tuned for that if you are on Patreon. So uh, make sure you're paying attention. Now let's dive right in. So Resistance Conversion Kit, uh, I think, is one that is giving you maybe the least benefit. Um, because of what all is coming out with this conversion kit. Now, first off, the resistance and first order conversion kits are $20 cheaper than the existing conversion kits, whereas the normal ones are $49.95 MSRP. These are only $29.95 MSRP. So you're obviously you're saving a little bit of money, right? And and that's great because but you're getting a whole lot less stuff. The resistance is conversion kit is launching alongside with the T70 X Wing expansion and the RZ2 A Wing. Now, RZ2 A-Wing is not in the Resistance yet, so you, you if you look at like what's out right now for your 1.0 stuff that you just don't have, you've got only four ships. You've got the BSF-17 Bomber, you've got the um, RZ2 A-Wing, which is not really out yet, so it really is only three ships out, the T-70 X-Wing, and the YT-1300. So, if you're going to pick up a new X-Wing... Right, and since these these new X wings are redesigned, they have the movable wings, and I think a lot of people are going to want at least one of these. Um, then you're with your RZ two A wing. Once you pick that up, you've only got two ships that are like not covered under what's been released. So you're going to be getting your BSF seventeen bomber and your YT thirteen hundred. Now there's going to be other stuff in there too, right? So like. If you really want to fly those two ships, like I feel like you're buying a conversion kit for only two ships worth of stuff, there is going to be upgrades and crew, and you're going to have your Finn and Ray crew, and uh, you know all of the like. There's a lot of crew options and stuff for for the, you know that were that were would be in the uh, you know in that 1300. So there's going to be a lot of upgrade cards that you'll get, and and I think you'll need all that stuff if you want to be competitive right away. Now, granted, a lot of upgrades can cross are going to be multi faction. So you'll be able to get a lot of talents and a lot of just generic modifications and all of your stuff like that. But, but, you, but you know, I think you're going to, uh, you know, Rose is also going to be in this. They'll probably introduce a whole bunch of extra crew too. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Paige Tycho, you know, as a, as a crew as well. Um, but the problem is there's just not a whole lot here. And, and it also there were certain mistakes made with the existing conversion kits like no shield tokens, for example. So it's like more if you're a single faction only player and you're only playing resistance, you're probably going to have to buy multiple. Um, if you really want like the new shield tokens, you'll probably want to buy multiple T-70 X-Wing, like probably at least two A-Wings and two X-Wings to make sure you get enough shield tokens. I mean, you have to have a core set also, um, so you're going to have stuff that you're not going to use if you're resistance only. But 
Maybe they'll have fixed that. Maybe by the time these come out, they will actually also have shield tokens to run with the new ships. I just, you know, there's a lot of little things that kind of made the core set conversion, or rather the conversion kits for the expansions we have right now, not really all they were cracked up to be. You know, what, there were some, some misprints, and some typos, some just things that weren't included that really felt like they should have been included. A lot of little mistakes. Uh, and so, like, a big part of me is leaning towards, you know, for now, let's just play the other factions. And when the, you know, because when the YT-1300 comes out, I'm probably going to want to get a new version of that. I will, because I like a mod, I want to get at least one model of everything. So I'll be buying one of everything and I'll be able to do comparisons right here on the channel. So if you're on the fence about something, you can always watch my comparison video when it comes out. Take a look at it then. We'll be comparing everything, the YT-1300, the, the Resistance one in from 1.0, compare that to the Resistance one from 2.0, whenever they re-release those, because they have said they are going to re-release everything. Uh, and again, the BF, BSF-17 Bomber, we'll check out the new version of that versus the old version of that. You know, e even if it's not changed very much, there'd probably at least be a new paint scheme for it, and so that's kind of cool, especially if you don't like to repaint your ships, then you can have some different, you know, some alternate paint schemes, whether it's the 1.0 version or the 2.0 version. So I just feel like you're not getting a whole lot of value in with this conversion kit because you're only getting two ships worth of stuff that would be unavailable to you. Whereas if you compare that to, for example, the Rebel conversion kit, you're getting a lot, an awful lot of ships worth of stuff. Um, so I, I, you know, I'm, I plan on buying at least one of everything. I think a lot of people may want multiple T70 uh, X-Wing expansions as well. And everything that comes in here for the T70 should also be available in the conversion kit. Uh, as, as it applies to the T-70. Uh, they have at least said that, you know, all this this stuff that's in here, like the special new unique upgrade kits, uh, the new talents and the new pilots and everything should also be available in the conversion kits. So let's hope that that ends up being exactly uh, what we expect. Uh, and, you know, like all these new, you're going to get the new Poe, you're going to get the new Black One title, you're going to get all the, all, all the new tech upgrades. And shield tokens, because they're definitely showing shield tokens here. Um, you know, I just really hope they have shield tokens in the conversion kits. Uh, also, the RZ-2 A-Wing, that one's going to be all new. That one won't be in the conversion kit, because there's nothing to convert. So you'll definitely want to get a couple of these, too. Uh, and these are supposed to have guns that flip forward and backward. So kind of like you're rotating your firing arc, but you're shooting forward and backward. Should be fun. I, I'm, I'm anxious to try these out. This is one of the first all new ships we're going to get in a while. And a lot of people were expecting this one ever since The Last Jedi came out, which is kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, and so we're going to get Tally Lintra, of course. And I don't even know who these other pilots are. I wonder if some of these pilots we'll end up seeing in Star Wars Resistance, as a matter of fact. It'll be, be kind of interesting. Um, although I don't think Lulo or Zari are. They're pro I bet you they're from the books. I've some of the books that I, I haven't read all of the books. I usually I usually read the bigger books, not the smaller books. So let's talk about the first order conversion kit. So again, this is going to be similar. There's not a whole lot of ships. There's I believe four ships out right now for the first order, and you're looking at basically the Tie FO fighter, the SF, the uh, Tie silencer, and the Upsilon. So. There's while there are two expansions coming out for the resistance, there's only one coming out for the first order. So this one will get you, uh, and that's that tie FO fighter. You're only going to be, you know, if you don't buy a conversion kit and you want to play first order, you're going to have only one ship available for a while. So this one is probably a little bit more worthwhile because it's actually bringing three ships that are unavailable to you into what's available to you. So you're actually going to get a little bit more value out of this one. Granted, it's the same price as the other one. Uh, it's and, and that's fine, but uh, you know you're getting more things that you could, didn't have access to. So you're getting the tie silencer, which I'm, you know, kind of looking forward to seeing how that one feels under the new 2.0, uh, you know, feel. Uh, Kylo Ren is not a six anymore, though he's a five. So you know, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of little changes that have changed. You've got a Snoke crew on there too, uh, Phasma and a Snoke crew. You know, double crew, very very exciting. So. Um, the first order is going to be a lot of fun. I, I, the only thing that I'm not super crazy about with the first order that I haven't been super crazy about all along is that the visuals is that you have the Tie SF and the Tie FO that look awfully similar, and uh, so you get kind of less of a visual variety. But again, you know that at the same time, the first order stuff looks cool, like those with that Upsilon with the moving wings and stuff. I love moving parts. 
And I love that they're taking an extra step in, in 2.0 to redesign a lot of the ships. I don't expect a whole lot of redesigns here, but one of the things we can see is that the cockpit looks a little bit more red for the TIE FO. Uh, and so I'm curious, like when they redo the other ones, how the rest are gonna uh, gonna end up looking. Now, this this preview image they gave us of this is looks like it's a high quality CGI render. So I'll be curious to see how the production copy actually comes out. And again, I will be doing reviews of both of those and comparisons as well, um, as, as well as all of the ships when they eventually come out. But yeah, so. If you only want to run Thai FO swarms, then you probably don't need the conversion kit. But if you want to run first order competitively, you'll probably want a first order con uh, conversion kit. Still, I don't know if you're really getting as much value as you got in the other, uh, you know, in the other uh, kits. But cards like Snoke, I mean, it, there's probably going to be some really must-have cards in both of the conversion kits. So that's what I think. I think you. I think you could probably take a pass if you're really concerned with the budget, but uh, I will probably do some more giveaways and maybe you'll be able to win a, a gift card or win a conversion kit when these get ready to come out as well. So uh, I will be staying, paying close attention to the, to the release dates of these and as they get closer, closer, stay tuned for more giveaways. And remember, all you have to do to enter any of my giveaways is become a subscriber and leave a comment. It's as simple as that. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Click that little bell for alerts. Stay tuned in the next day or two, we're going to be announcing a uh, winner for the X-Wing 2.0 core set, so stay tuned for that as well. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.